Google Flat and Sheet Mat model inside the AutoCAD. So this is actually a model from a client here, so you can see it. This is actually a valid model. And uh, let me see here. Rotate it here. Yeah, I see here, this is actually a model created by the client here. So, and this is actually the solid model, cannot handle the solid model. So we have to use then the AutoCAD command called the explode. And then to explode this model, and then they become a surface model here. Now, after you download the software from our website, and then load it into AutoCAD, and then you have a command called the sign row here. And once you issue the command, you can see here so many parameters here. And the most important one here is the key factor here. So you can just refer to the uh, user guide, which is saved in the installation directory, and see what's this meaning. And once you issue this command, you just click select the one surface, basically is defined as a top surface. And, and then you select then the whole surface here. And then, then it will unfold for you here. And this is actually the model here, unfold here, see here. This is actually the one here that you have unfolded here. So you can, you know, adjust the parameter here and then to unfold uh, based on your requirement. And for example, the key factor is here, is defined based on your bending machine or your, uh, your workshop. And uh, that is actually for this model here. We delete this one here. And uh, we delete this one and then come back to the model. And there's another one here. This model here I want to show you here. This is not a valid model. See here? There's no fillet plate here between two planar plate. So we require that the sheet metal model is always have then the planar plate and fillet plate and then planar plate here. So here's but it's all sharp drawing here. You cannot manufacture this kind of a, a shape with the bending machine because it's actually 90 degree sharp drawing here. And you have to cut into pieces and weld them together. That is not uh, in our domain. So, and then you can uh, add the fillet here. We have another model here, similar like this one here. And this is actually exactly the same. And then the uh, client has add the fillet here. So here he add the fillet, but still it's very weird. How can you have this sharp, you know, extrusions here? And, but anyway, this is actually just for testing purpose here. Normally you should have a clean cut here and then you have a good model. But to unfold this model here, it's very simple, it just uh, explode the model here, and then you explode it here, and then you have, uh, you have a surface model here. And then you just issue sun row here, and then you select one surface here, and then you select the new window select the whole surface here, and then you should get the result here. Here is actually the, the result here. Uh, no, this is actually used in the palm here. You see here? Yeah, this is actually the model here. This is actually the one that you have, uh, you have here. And uh, yeah, you see here? Yeah, yeah. Then you can just cut the flat material and then bend it into the three D shape. Uh, if you have any question, please send me email. You know, just support at smartinfo.com, and I will help you. Uh, that's for today. Thank you. Bye.